More Ripple news hot off the press today. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. The 26th. Pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I just recorded a video yesterday. Let's see over here. Let's go to content. Check this out. I just recorded a video. XRP is going to go up. XRP news. I may be buying XRP. I talked about why it could be going up in that video yesterday. I basically said I thought this lawsuit was not going to affect business as usual and that I I was leaning towards buying some XRP. And take a look at this news story today. This is incredible. I, I got to tell you something. I have never owned XRP up to this point. I still haven't bought any, by the way. Probably I should. I know you XRP fans are like, you know, buy it now or regret it later. I, I get it. That's always the case in crypto. That's what they always say. But here's the thing. I am beginning to love this company, how they're doing business, primarily Garling House, the CEO. Anytime you have a CEO for a company that goes to bat and goes to bat swinging. I mean, this right here to me is like, just like, I mean, I don't want to say he's giving the middle finger to regulators because he's really not, but a weaker man, a weaker CEO, this sort of thing, you would just kind of roll over, give up. It would be depressive because you got to understand this. The SEC is coming after this man personally. All right, let's get into this new story real quick. Ripple signs 15 new customers after the SEC lawsuit, says Garlinghouse. Now, why is this important? Because, says Garlinghouse, he put this out there. He, he, probably was in, he probably was the one who broke this media to decrypt to whoever broke it. He's probably the one who, who called, phoned up you know, the, the author of the story and was like, hey, just want to give you a heads up. You want a story? You want a scoop? Let everybody know this. Bam. The SEC, the, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's $1.3 billion lawsuit didn't stop Ripple from signing new customers, the firm CEO asserted. Now, if you want to know kind of why this is probably happening, I, I kind of came to this realization doing my own research, and I talked about it yesterday in this video. So I'll put it down below if you want to watch the video. It's pretty short, only about nine minutes. Hey, real quickly, while I'm here, on this last video I did, I was talking about the uh, Ethereum gas tokens. I sold my UNDG token right now. They're having issues with their UI, their website. It may be no big deal, but... I've had this pending for three or four hours now. It hasn't recorded my transactions for today. So I'm just like, eh, the devs haven't spoken up in Telegram. I'll buy back in later. It's totally fine. I'm not afraid to buy back in. I just thought for now, I'm going to bail on that. So just a heads up, those of you who have been watching my channel, just to let you know what I've been doing. All right, let's get back to this Ripple thing. So the CEO, in brief, Ripple signed 15 new customers after SEAC had filed a $1.3 billion lawsuit against it. Again, go watch some previous video because they clearly understood what I just realized in my last video. In late December, the regulator alleged that Ripple had raised $1.3 billion in unregistered security offerings since 2013. However, the firm remains optimistic and Team Ripple is ready to take on the year Garlinghouse noted. Despite being hit with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, $1.3 billion lawsuit, blockchain payments firm Ripple continues to grow and sign new customers. Company CEO Brad Garlinghouse wrote in a letter published yesterday, 2020 was the banner year for at Ripple. Despite a disappointing end related to U.S. regulation, understatement, we processed millions of Ripple net transactions, grew ODL 12X year over year, and signed 15 new customers after the SEC complaint. 2020 was a banner year for Ripple, despite, okay, we already said that. Um, per today's letter, even after the SEC lawsuit was officially filed, the company continued to close new customers' deals at the rate of two per week. With these additions, Ripple is now seeing more customers than ever before, Garlinghouse noted. An increasing demand for digital financial services and payments interoperability in Asia-specific is further propelling the adoption of RippleNet among regions, many SMEs, fintechs, and PSPs, the letter added. The number of deals signed in 2020 were up 80% year over year, and there was a 1,700% growth in transactions. At the same time, Ripple continued to onboard new staff members and executives and was fortunate to be able to continue hiring every quarter in 2020. We added top talent to our leadership team with strong backgrounds from Apple, PayPal, Amazon, Tesla, and Twitter, Garlinghouse noted. The SEC's lawsuit against Ripple, as Decrypt reported the SEC lawsuit, and several of its uh, filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs and several of his executives on December 22nd. In its filing, the regulator alleged that Ripple had raised $1.3 billion in unregistered security offerings since 2013. Shortly after, XRP's market capitalization decreased by 63% and it still keeps shrinking. Well, that's not quite accurate. I mean, it is shrinking, but I'll get to that in a minute. 
In total, the token's market cap dropped from $27 billion prior to the lawsuit to $12 billion today. In their turn, most major exchanges have either delisted or suspended trading XRP. And that's true, and that's a bit of a problem, particularly if you're in the U.S. However, here is the thing. Like, this is a bit misleading, and they know it's misleading. I can't stand when news stories do this. It dropped, but the, the reality is it also mainly pumped because of, you know, this, this spark airdrop that was that occurred which by the way the, the airdrop happened and they even did they're even doing a second one i discussed it in the video here yesterday if you didn't watch the video xrp going up go and watch it i just saw this news story and i thought yes it's so, so awesome when you have a certain feeling or belief about something and then you see that in fact it comes to fruition however i didn't necessarily expect it to come to fruition the very next day so ladies and gentlemen cryptocurrency is incredible it is interesting there's a lot of risk there's a lot of opportunity this technology is going to change the world is ripple going to be a part of that it looks like they kind of are. I mean, listen, I, I mean, I, I want to say something about Ripple for a moment. Ripple essentially supports the traditional financial system. And that's one of the reasons I don't promote Ripple. I like the idea of getting decentralizing away from traditional finance, traditional banking systems. And that's truly the single biggest reason. It's a use case I don't like. And that's probably holding me up a little bit in actually investing in Ripple or XRP, I mean. However, I got to tell you, those of you that have, you know, been believers in this company, I, you know, not financial advice. What do I know? I'm not even holding the product. I'm not even invested in the company or in the, the X token. But here's what I can tell you. You may be proven right. History may prove you right. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you, you've enjoyed this story. Do me a favor. Smash that like button. Let's get the word out there. Ripple is not, I mean, they're not doing as bad as many people think. And if you watch my last video on Ripple going up, you will in fact see that there are companies that have done worse than Ripple probably has done. In fact, they lost and they're still succeeding today. And they lost against the SEC. You got to go watch that story. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, click that bell notification icon. We're going to continue to follow this XRP and Ripple story. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.